Hey everyone, it's uh, Luke from the Metalheads of Gaming, and uh, this time I'm gonna show you a Minecraft world that me and Russell have been working on. Russell's not here right now because, well, school night, you know, could have been like two hours, but whatever. Anyway, so uh, we created this world that's basically all in the air. It's supposed to be like like a survival base where you were when you're never supposed to leave the base you're always supposed to stay on it and never reach the ground although that kind of defeats all purpose because I made it in creative but anyway <laughs> uh, let's I'm just gonna give you a little tour of it I got like this minecart system that goes all around it this is the first I'm gonna go up to the house area well then I'll fix that later. Anyway, uh, so th I'm first. I want to give you a quick tour of the house. Nothing much in here. I might add like a little table or chairs or something. But it, this is supposed to be like strictly a survival area. So yeah, kind of bare bones. I got like an infinite water source right there. This is just a lot of storage and an enchantment table. Another under chest. By the way, there's an under chest on every floor couple of beds, all, you know, a jukebox, another ender chest, uh, three, three brewing stations, and three, uh, cauldrons, so that's helpful, and then this is Russell's, um, this is Rus these are Russell's choker boxes, these are mine, along with, um, 12 other chests, that's pretty much the whole house, and I'm still working on this whole world, by the way, so just so you guys know. And I almost forgot where I was going there for a sec. And uh, now we're going to go down to the basement area, even though the whole thing's in the air, but whatever. This is like, it also goes down further, like right there, but I'll get to that in a sec. But um, this area is interesting because it's like on this minecart station and I specifically designed it so that whenever the minecart you kind of got to give it a push there's no way to press the button I don't know why I even have a button there because you can't press it <laughs> but you kind of just got to give the minecart a push like pushing it forward but other than that you know whenever it stands on whenever the minecart is on that rail it sends a pulse up to do a light up on the surface that I'll show you guys later possibly who knows I might I might forget but whatever but anyway there's a light up on the surface that basically um, shines whenever the line card is here and also where there, one of the mine cards goes to like one of our redstone testing facilities the other one goes all the way over there in that direction to the um to the tree farm another redstone testing facility and then also um the mob grinders and also the direction of the mine so yeah it's about all for the minecart um transportation for the minecart transportation and storage systems now to get into some of these contraptions this is on the first floor actually this is Technically, that's the first floor. This is the second, but the, uh, this continues. This is actually the only the top half of it. The whole rest of it is on the lower floor. And then there's this. These are, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. These are auto smelters. Oh, I guess I put nothing in that one. I put stuff in. Okay, what the hell? Uh, okay, I got it now. But yeah, I, I, I can remember that. Because I literally just built these two tonight and I forgot to put stuff in them, so that explains why. But yeah, there's the other minecart system. That's about all for this floor. I'm still going to build more contraptions in here. I might even build a whole layer beneath this, but as of right now, this, this is like the main area. Like, the. I don't know if this works yet, because, you know, I haven't really tested it out too much, but let me see. It's supposed to be... Okay, it's filling up. All right. But this is supposed to be an, uh, a charcoal generator, so that's helpful, or should be at least. I haven't seen if it actually works yet. 
Um, then we got this, and this is like, no, technically this is only available in creative, but it's a, it's something that I designed, and it's basically animals, those dispensers that you saw up there, animals will fall from those and fall all the way down to that hopper. All their collectibles will be, um, sent into here. This chest is filled with coal to light the furnace, and then you mainly really have to take um, the the hide and wool and stuff out. But other than that, then you can just drop down here, and then you see there's your there's your meat, and then so yeah, that's one thing. And then this is another cool thing. It's a cobblestone generator. I I can't remember the YouTube channel from where I found this, but it's actually really helpful. It's basically infinite, so that actually really does help. So far down there, I got 34 um, uh, cobblestone. Another infinite water source in case I had to, something goes wrong. I had to fill something up. It's about all for over here. Let me see. All right, and that was just the house area. There's quite a bit of other areas. A lot of it's just farmland, like, but this is, like, this is just one of the areas where the minecart, and the chest in a minecart goes to, and you see that's the line that if, or that's the light if that where if you put a minecart on that rail right there, it will send a signal and it will let people know that it's there, so... I think that's kind of cool, and then each minecart goes in, there's like a minecart, there's like four different directions. Shut up villagers, no one likes you. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so this is my iron farm. And, uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Then, um... This is this is the, my wheat farm area. Quite a quite a lot of wheat. You could grow a lot there. This is the pumpkin and melon farm. This is the sugar cane farm. I'm planning on making a cactus farm or cacti farm, however you say it. I'm planning on making one of those soon. I can't. I just got to build another platform for it. Oh, I could just put it right there. What am I talking about? But um. This is the tree farm, and I got like six, um, nine stacks of 64 um, saplings, and these are the six main types of saplings. So you got oak, um, spruce, um, I think that's acacia, I'm not sure, birch, jungle, and one of these is jungle, the other one's dark, okay, I can't remember, but, anyway, that's just, you know, these are oak trees, right now I haven't bothered cutting any of them down, I'm gonna wait until I'm in survival for that, and this is kinda cool, I have to refill it, hold on, I kinda have to refill this right now, but, alright, sorry, um, yeah, I meant to do this earlier, but I kind of forgot, so... I guess... I guess I'm doing it now. Alright, so what this is, is... Basically, it's an enchantment, like, station where you can just... Um, throw bottles of enchanting at it yourself. You do that. This is pretty much optional. I don't even know why that's there, really, but... Yeah, you see, you just stand right here. That helps. And then you just flip that lever. You go right back in, and then that's another auto smelting station over here. You take the minecart down here. And this is our bomb grinder. Don't ask me what I was planning on doing with this. I completely forget. I have it un set on peaceful right now, because let me just show you. Alright, this this could actually be really hard to explain, so I'm just going to show you what this is going to look like if I just spawn in. If I turn it off peaceful, 
this is the shit that happens. You see why I turned it off? Alright, um, that's going off now. You could probably see why. Alright then, um, crap, okay. So now, um, well, well anyway, at the bottom this is how we get the XP whenever all of them are dead, you can flip this lever. Well, now it's in the closed position so none of them can get through. Excuse me. You can actually flip it open now. And that's open. And now all, all the monsters will fall down here. And then you can. And then when you, you have enough for a while, then you can just flip that. Go. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was working. But yeah, you can flip that lever again. All, this, all the zombies and stuff will go. All the zombies and stuff will stay up there. And then the remaining ones down here, you finish off with this sword. Specifically, there's a chest in there for it, and, um, it's actually really helpful. When you're done killing them, there's XP on three different sides, where you can get the XP. And then, this is all, I don't know why there's emeralds in there, I think my friend Russell just put them there on purpose. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is, this is like the little mine shaft area. This could take a while. I know you guys can't eat. I know I'm not exactly talking to you, but so, how was your day? Yeah. Yeah, mine was good. This is gonna take like 10 years, and never mind, we're almost to the bottom. Okay, good talk, everyone. Alright, uh, this kind of leads to nowhere, and I kind of had to bl block that area off because... Actually, I think I don't think I. I just think I don't. I can't even talk today. I don't think I dug that far just because there's an area down here where literally it was just filled with lava, and I had no choice but to block it off. Yep, that's it. There are a couple areas like that down here too. I think this is one of them. All right, never mind. I I have a hard time remembering where all of them are. But yeah, and then I'm waiting. I'm waiting to go into survival to do this. But like you got all that, and then I found a patch of diamonds there that I put, and then you find redstone everywhere. And yeah, it's it, good fortune. Good things are happening right now. And yeah, that's about it. And um, brain, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyway, let me see, um, that's about everything, I think, um, let's see, and, uh, yeah, that's about everything, so hopefully you enjoyed that little tour, um, I don't know what it really I would call that. I guess it would be a tour, but yeah, I'm still not quite done with it yet. I'm still working on it. Russell's helping me out with it. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.